Okay, so I had like a really bad dream last night. It wasn't like the regular nightmare where you'd wake up and you'd be like, oh, it was all a dream, I can go back to sleep. No, it was one of those nightmares where you wake up and you're like, oh god, what, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, that was the worst dream ever. Oh my god. Forget. And yeah, the, the nightmare was like about Slenderman, you know. <laughs> it's a common dream, but still. It's a common nightmare, I mean. But, basically, the dream was just like, it started out so n normal. Like, like, it wasn't like what other dreams had, where you had, you know, like, lollipops, gumdrops, and you were in a wonderland full of potatoes frolicking around in the dirt wearing sunglasses. No, it was just like a dream that seemed so real. <laughs> <laughs> As I get random grenaded there, and um, I lost track just saying. Oh yeah, the dream was like so real, like nothing, nothing would happen. It was just like a normal day, and then all of a sudden, the lights turn off. At, at the house I'm in. Oh yeah, by the way, in the dream I'm at my grandparents' house. So the lights turn off. And I'm just like, oh crap, it's a blackout. Like, I didn't think anything of it. It was just such a real dream that I thought was real life. And in real life, how I'd react to a blackout, I'd be like, oh shoot, blackout. Yeah. But then, I wandered. Oh yeah, my grandma was sitting on the couch right next to me. And I was like, oh okay, I'm gonna go get a flashlight or something. And so I walked into the kitchen. And then I opened the fridge, and I, and I got like a drink of Dr. Pepper. And then all of a sudden, I got so paranoid. Like it wasn't even funny how paranoid I got. But I got so paranoid. Like I, in the dream, I I could feel myself sweating, and I could feel like cold rushes going through my spine and stuff. And oh my God, this dream. Just like recalling it makes me want to cry. Well, I didn't cry, but still. <laughs> I'm not a baby. <laughs> yeah, but dreams like these are just like so messed up. I don't even get why you have them. But anyways, um, I couldn't find a flashlight, and so I go to my tablet, right? Oh yeah, I have it. Not my tablet, Uncle Steve's tablet, but um. I just, I just picked up the tablet and tried using it, and the screen got all fuzzy. I was like, "Oh crap, what's going on?" And I tried, I tried opening my laptop, and that was fuzzy too. Nothing, nothing that didn't require a outlet was working. Like it was all just fuzzy, and it just, that just was so scary. So I went back to the front room, and I was like, "Grandma," and then. She wouldn't respond. I was like, Grandma, are you okay? And then, I think you know what happened next. It was, my grandma wasn't sitting on the couch. Slenderman was. Now, this may sound really stupid, but when it's in a dream that feels so real that you have no idea that it's a dream, it feels so real like um, everything that's happened so far happens in real life. This is scary. Slenderman just is there, sitting on the couch, and he slowly stands up. Oh, epic dolphin dive, GG. But Slenderman is there, and he just slowly stands up, like, looking at me with his non-existent eyes. And I'm just like, holy mother of god. Like, and then I woke up, and it was pitch black in the room. I could still see the image of my dream there, and I had no idea I was in my room. I had no idea I had woken up, because I thought that everything just went pitch black in the dream, which I didn't know was a dream. And so, I woke up, and I was just so scared. I was paralyzed in fear. And, dang, man. That dream. I, I couldn't go to sleep for the rest of the night. Like, usually, nightmares 
the nightmares I have, I can brush them off because they're so unreal when I wake up. But this one was just so real that when I woke up, I thought it was still happening. Oh, man. These dreams. These dreams make me want to cry. And I'm no dream expert. I have no idea why, you know, these things happen. That was the first dream in like a lot of years, probably like seven, that I've woken up and I couldn't go back to sleep. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I usually forget nightmares, right? After a while. But this one, I, I, can, I can just remember it as bright as day. I can just remember everything. It was so real. <sighs> okay, so we're halfway through the commentary, so now I'm going to talk about like the channel. <laughs> After talking about that horrid nightmare. Okay, so... I didn't really know what I was going to do with this gaming channel when I made it. I just, I was just like, oh, ponies and gaming, GG. And so... I take... Um, I took... I've been wanting to make a gaming channel for a year, okay? For like a year. <laughs> That's a lot of time. And I was finally able to make one. I was like, hell yeah. But then... Um... I tried doing some let's plays, I tried making some funtages, I got Final Cut Pro X to do some good editing, and uh, I wanted to do commentaries. Basically, right now, my channel is in the testing stage. Like, I'm still testing everything, I'm still testing my outros, I'm still testing, like, uh, what I'm gonna do the most, what I'm gonna do the least. I'm still testing, like, my commentary abilities. And I realize that I keep saying like a lot, so sorry about that. <laughs> but this channel is just going to be like pretty random for the next like few weeks because I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to upload random stuff. Eventually, I'll get on a schedule though where I'll like upload like however many days of the week and then I'll and then I'll like post like a huge funtage or something at the, like the end of a week or something. But for now, it's just completely random. And as you'll see at the end of this video, uh, I changed the outro again. Yeah, I get, I'm probably going to keep changing the outro all the time because I can never be satisfied with the outro. But I think this one looks pretty good and I might, I might keep it, but I doubt it. Yeah, but my, my channel, it'll feature some, like, ponies. But some... Um, some videos, like, I already created one that was based around the, the Rainbow Factory fanfic. Go check it out if you want. Oh, put, like, a tab or something on the screen. But. My god, my mouth is really dry. <laughs> Dude, first commentary. I'm really bad at commentaries, so I'll try to get better. Oh, get turned on, bro. Oh, man. I love kills like that. Oh yeah, by the way, um, these Black Ops 2 like gameplays, right? Um, basically, I'm gonna upload good gameplays, but if I can't get a get a good gameplay, I'm also gonna upload gameplays like this, where a lot of a lot of funny stuff happens, like getting that dolphin diving out of the way of that huge like predator missile. That was pretty GG, and getting that huge long shot across the map with the KSG. Like I have no idea how that happened, but it's pretty cool. And getting random stuck. And I don't want my gameplays to be like boring, so I'm gonna. I, I like putting caption captions and stuff. Okay, it's just an update though. So see you later, I guess. Check out the final kill cam. It's pretty GG. Slow mo. <gasps> Boom, mother packer. Okay. See you later, guys.